Frank Caliendo. Frank? Hey, how are you? Good, man. How are you? Stuck in the snow in Dallas. The snow? It's, like it's got to be five, six inches of snow here. I have to tell you, I was thinking about, I was thinking someday I'll move to Dallas. This has wrecked it for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really cold. It's been cold there for a while. It's global warming. Global Do you know warming. where the snow is coming from? Clower, Clower and Piven. <laughs> <laughs> They're overloading the system. <laughs> See, this isn't necessary. You don't need to go right into the, you know, bash. Howard and Piven. <laughs> you know where I drink my water? I don't know. So what are you doing in, uh, what are you doing? Are you just going to see the uh, Super Bowl? I know you have, don't you have a, a halftime thing? I have, I have two sketches that I'm doing in the pregame, and I'm interviewing President Obama. Um <laughs> Wait a second. That's O'Reilly. Yeah. Right yeah. I get his and my schedule mixed up. Right. <laughs> right. I think I'd rather. Uh, I think I might rather see that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could do. I mean, um, you know, you could do it as Maddow. <laughs> I am Rachel Maddow. I am Rachel Maddow. <laughs> How are you? Oh, yes, President Obama. All Let's right. Now, see, this is, unnecessary. <laughs> this, is, this is unnecessary. This is. Oh, you're going to get some flack oh, from that man. one. Uh, I am. We're passing it all on no, to you, no, my no, friend. No, this is this is a, this is a Cali Francando. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you. Are. I uh, you know it's a, it's crazy. I got to meet uh, Pat Summerall, uh, who was a legendary broadcaster last night. Uh, which was very cool because he was the partner with John Madden all those years. Yep. And uh, the um, Madden is staying at the same hotel I'm staying at. Uh, I've never met him. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to meet him now. <laughs> uh, it's like having security. Like, Keep telling him to away. That guy's awful. Uh, but, uh, hey, have, you, branch, uh, have you not? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did, did, have you not met him? I've never met John Madden. I've never met President Bush either. I'm trying to meet former President Bush, I think that would just be cool. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? Let's bob our heads together. You know, I thought that would be pretty cool. <laughs> but you've I mean, heard you know you've heard that Madden hates your impression, though, right? I've he, heard anywhere from he hates me to doesn't like me at all. Uh, <laughs> so so there's a wide how, range. I mean, it is, it's hysterical. How can it he is. not I like you? It, it's very similar to your relationship with Keith Olbermann. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very similar to that. I uh, don't... No, I, you know... It's they they he does there's never been I don't know I don't I don't think he just he just doesn't get it you know whereas when I'm working on that impression of you or I, I've heard President Bush does like me and uh, uh, you know just President Bush he Some has a good don't. sense yeah he has a good sense of humor so yeah, okay I, so let's just say Madden is listening now go ahead make fun of him hey you know when did Ben Roethlisberger Decide that he wanted to look like a a, a, a rapper on the paper towel roll. I mean, <laughs> take a look at this guy. I mean, I mean, uh, the only thing he's missing is a big blue ox. You know, I tell you, here, have you seen this? I, I know, Glenn, you're not a huge sports guy. Uh, um, no. Pat, Pat, you follow sports a little bit. Let me tell you, hang on just a second. Yes. Let me tell you the truth. When I said I'd rather hear Maddow, I meant Madden. Oh. That's how much of a sports guy I am. Well, they, yeah. they're very similar. They're yeah. Yeah. that much different. All right, okay, yeah. stop we it. We apologize for that story we ran about Sarah Palin the other day. <laughs> All right. Uh, it turns out that was not true. That was from uh, something that who cares about. Let's go to the next story. Boom. <laughs> uh, the, um, what was I? Uh, well, so I get to, I, well, let's go this way. I've got, I, I get to the dinner the other night, and Brad, Terry Bradshaw, Terry's sitting there, and he's like, Frank, you should never leave this show. You should never we need you. You're great on this show. We love having you. Plus, you could never do anything else. You're stuck here, Frank. It's always a mini, con a big buildup for like him just to rip me to shreds. So he's like one of those guys that will introduce you. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage, the most talented guy in the world. Please welcome a guy who just got over a bad rash, Frank Caliendo. <laughs> what? We've had him dewormed. Everything's going to be fine. So you live in Vegas, right? No, I live in Arizona. I live in Phoenix. Don't you? Uh, but really? You live, I didn't know you lived in uh, Phoenix. You work I, in, in Vegas a lot. Yeah, I work in Vegas a lot. I'm there through April 30th at the Monte Carlo. I'm, uh, I've got to be good friends with Sheriff Dupnik. Um, 
I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I almost felt you steaming there. Like, why? Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. guy. Yeah, good he guy. He almost went Scooby Doo and me. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I live in Phoenix. How are, things, how are things in Phoenix? Uh, What's the attitude good. like in Phoenix? Uh, you know, I'm not there a ton, and I'm, but I. I think people, you know, I know this, the you know the stuff in Tucson is very important, and this is awful stuff. I think that people outside of Arizona look in at Arizona, and you know, it seems like they they go crazy on every like Arizona seems like it's this big outlaw all the time. But I I, I, I like it there. I like the people, and I, I get along. Pretty you know, it well kills there. me. It kills me that people think that it's a big outlaw state because people are from all over the country. Uh, that Absolutely. live in, in it's great, Arizona. It's a fantastic mix of people from the Midwest and East Coast who didn't want to be cold anymore. Their Southwestern culture. It's all. It's 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 great. It's you know people from California who didn't want to get taxed that much anymore. And then you it's, and me, the weirdo <laughs> with the voices. <laughs> now, who who are you going? For, who who do you like in the game this weekend? Well, I'm not allowed to pick. Uh, I, I pick in the game, so that's how I I make the. Uh, Make my paycheck as part of that, so I can't tell you. You can't tell us that we got to watch it on on Sunday. Yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah, What kind of Uh, what kind kind of of agent do you have, man? Well, I can't tell you who I'm picking on a game. I was on on Leno the other night. He was asking, "Who are you picking? Who are you picking? Who are you going to go with?" I go, "I can't tell you because I am why the ratings for the Super Bowl soar. People (laughs) watch." For my segment, really? Game, yeah, more than the, the more than the commercials, more than the game itself. Who's Frank going to pick? I didn't ask, ask Pat. It's on RealClearPolitics.com. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's on there. It's on the way. I it's didn't. On Drudge. I, Drudge has a big thing about it. Can you I, tell us um, who Charles Barkley is going to pick? I mean, I'm going to pick the team that scores the most points. Knucklehead. <laughs> That's the winner. I'm going with either the Green Bay Packers or the Pittsburgh Steelers. And if you pick something other than that, boom. <laughs> hey, Callie, no, thank you very much. Hey, we'll uh, we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you, man. Bye. Bye-bye.